Good afternoon. It's Saturday, the 22nd of August, 224 Central. We're about to take a quick flight in the new FS 2020. I've had this flight <clears throat> and several others uh, black screen me. So basically a game lock and close out automatically, overpowered something. Uh, I'm not sure what, but we're going to take another shot at it. I was on final approach uh, about two nautical miles out of Minneapolis, and we uh, went black. So we're going to give it another shot here today. Hope you're well in the world out there. Um, FS2020 came out this week on the 18th. It's been out for a few days. Uh, I haven't had a chance to tinker a little bit, but... Uh, we're Delta definitely uh, going to give it a rip. So sit back and enjoy the flight. And away we go. University of Minnesota Duluth. Go Bulldogs. We're flying over Duluth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Overspeed, I know. <laughs> Jeez. This is live weather as it sits today, so we got a little bit of fog. We're at 3,000 feet. There's the lift bridge down below overspeed. to your overspeed. left. Overspeed. 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 Uh, 251. Overspeed. I, I, I got I to turn overspeed. that off somehow. Overspeed. That's annoying. Overspeed. 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 Overspeed, 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 overspeed. Get some adjustments here, we're good to go.
Sometimes you have to trust the navigational systems when you're flying blind, baby. Should reach a cruising altitude of about 6,500 at 250 somewhere in there. Hopefully, we won't get too annoyed with the overspeed. absolutely love the real-time weather in this. This is fantastic. I'm getting all giddy. <laughs> this shouldn't take us too long. And uh, fingers crossed when we get to approach, you won't hear me swearing. Um, some of the pop-ups in the game are a bit annoying. Um, a lot of people have already said that before, but this is my... <coughs> What, third A320 flight? Um, the other two, I had one going from Denver to San Francisco. And um, I purchased the upgraded Denver International uh, Map Mod DLC uh, from Orbitz, whatever you want to call it. Um, and it was a uh, pretty good representation. I, <clears throat> you know, there's nuances to everything. Um, and things will get better over time. I'm sure they'll fine tune a few things. But as again, I've approached San Francisco, uh, hit descent mode after a couple hours of flying, and she just locked up on me. And I had the same problem uh, just a short bit ago on this flight during final approach. So I'm not sure if there's uh, ILS vectors approach uh, issues or bugs in the program, but uh, that's why we're playing. We'll find them out, and if I have to do uh, use different aircraft, we'll use different aircraft. I haven't yet to set in a 747. That one's going to be interesting as well. Um, so, anyway, welcome aboard. Quite the view.
see if we can get Delta Lima contact Minneapolis Center on one two one decimal zero five. Going to one two one decimal zero five Airbus Zero Delta Lima. Zero Delta Lima. Minneapolis Center Airbus November three two zero Delta Lima six thousand seven hundred feet. Airbus November three two zero Delta Lima Minneapolis Center continue as planned. Altimeter two nine or decimal seven six. Two niner. That would help to turn them off. Okay. <laughs> All right then. I probably have an option somewhere. It says don't mess with this stuff. Looks like we're good though. True and straight on the nav map. Through. <clears throat> We've got about seventy three miles to go.
It's kind of funny, my ears just popped. <laughs> we haven't dropped altitude yet. Gonna drop her down about 5,000. <clears> Get ready for the deceleration and uh, approach. We're still 32 nautical miles out from the airport. System checks look good. Engines are running efficiently. We haven't burned much fuel. up just a tad. Left in cloudy weather and I can tell you the weather is accurate. Surprisingly enough it is accurate. Now it may be off in other parts of the world but in my part of the world, the weather has been accurate uh, for the most part. Wind speed's a little lower than what real is, uh, but yeah, pretty darn close. And for not having a, this kind of capability uh, built into a game before, uh, it's just mind-blowing, quite frankly. I absolutely love it. 
I'll accept all the bugs, the flaws, and everything else. Um, the one thing I don't like is you can't save it, and that may be just ignorance on my part, but say you're into a three-hour flight and something comes up and you have to hold, you know, hold off. You, <coughs> it, it doesn't save, so to speak. You have to pause the game. So. Hold on. 126.5. 126.5 Airbus Zero Delta Lima. Minneapolis approach Airbus November 320 Delta Lima 4,400 feet. 4,400. Airbus November 320 Delta Lima Minneapolis approach continue to Golf Echo Papa as planned. Altimeter 29.73. Golf Echo Papa as planned. And that's our next waypoint on the map. I've got us a little bit lower than 5,000. Fingers crossed we'll get there. So as I was saying, I mean, it really would be nice to be able to have a save feature uh, so you can come back, especially if you're in a, a cruising altitude uh, and something comes up, life comes up, right? Um, <clears throat> myself, I tend to gravitate towards a lot of simulated long flights, um, just to be able to see the world, so to speak. and. Uh, you know, I've had this happen before with X-Plane is, you know, something comes up, you have to stop. You leave your PC on and you freeze the game and all of that jazz, but then when you're in a live mode here, um, it really does impact the situation. So I get why they don't, and yet again, still would be nice. <laughs> Take me off the live mode automatically then if I save the game. I think a lot of you understand what I'm saying. And when I say game, it's a sim. This is a simulation. This is, you know, this isn't Fighter Jet 101. This isn't DCS. This isn't, uh, oh, Top Gun, all well, these other fighter, fighter games out there. Um, you know, DCS is probably as close to real as far as fighter craft go. But, uh, you know, I won't be able to land on an aircraft carrier in MS Flight Sim. That's not the design of the game. So they call it Flight Sim for a reason. Simulation. The maps and graphics are, are spot on for the most part. There's a lot of nuances that aren't right. Uh, but, you know, I know a lot of players, uh, simmers are harsh. Um, I could have complained about the geography on... <clears throat> where I live um, I landed uh, a little um, uh, what was it Ion I forget the name of the dang plane anyway a little float plane <clears throat> near my place and um, you can tell they use Bing maps um, obviously it's Microsoft and uh, the distortion on the, the shoreline was messed up and it could my house didn't look like my house, and I had to kind of guess where it was at. Um, there were too many trees in the middle, of, near the, the the water, so to speak, and in the water, and stuff like that. It's just nuances that you just until the, they spend time to re map every sector, acre of planet, which is unrealistic you know you have to live with some stuff like that I I don't mind it I know at times there's going to be airports that uh, you know or books have come up with you know they've already added Denver um, the game comes with uh, Ken Minneapolis approach Airbus November 320 Delta Lima on. request clearance to transition Bravo airspace yep. Airbus November 320 Delta Lima Minneapolis approach Cleared through the Bravo airspace. Cleared through Bravo. Cleared through Bravo airspace, Airbus Zero Delta Lima. 
All right, cleared through Bravo means basically we have hit the outer marker, one of our waypoints, a key waypoint before we go into uh, uh, waypoint land mode. It's gonna generally arc us to the north and west of Minneapolis, for those that know. Uh, so we are cruising along. We're still at 4,400 feet, uh, 44. 60, sorry, I can read. Uh, <clears throat> floating around the 250 knots. You'll see the little display warning you back and forth as we... It tells you all sorts of warnings and such. Uh, we're at 50% on the engine power. We've got plenty of fuel. Um, glide path's good. We're going to drop down now a little bit. We're going to take it down. Let's bring her down. And I'll uh, straighten this out here in a second. Just ever so slight off glide path here. Let me go to the nav map, reset that. 2,500. Supposed to set it at 2,500. Coming in. We're heading towards VYKES. We're just outside. I think it's St. Michael. Looks like it. No, we're in Crystal. Sorry, Crystal Airport in Minneapolis. That's 494, 694 below us. Crystal Airport. So we're over the heart of the Minneapolis area. It's a little loud, I apologize. Here, that's just too obnoxious. Sorry, folks. Um, do -do 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 -do. Sound, 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 sound. Thank you. Uh, let's turn this down a bit. Thank you. Okay. Zoom. Still pretty loud. Any better in the cockpit? Maybe. Well, I just have to speak up a little bit. We'll see how this comes through on recording. Anyway. The Minneapolis Tower Airbus November 320 Delta Lima is 11 one miles north with Oscar to land. Oscar, okay. Airbus November 320 Delta Lima, Minneapolis Tower. Make left base runway 22. Altimeter 29 or decimal 72 wind 252 at 8. 252 at 8, 2971. out. Oh man, jittery. My frames dropped to 20 for a second as it's loading in. Yeah. See, I have this on high uh, with some ultra settings on a couple things um, and medium on a couple other things, but um, 
yeah, th th this is incredible. I mean, <clears throat> no other flight sim would you get this close to realism. Uh, never. Not even in the trucking world have I seen this kind of detail on roads and landscape, etc. Uh, even the buildings in most cases are fairly close to the real thing here. I mean, as close as you can get. We're outside the airport right now. We're going to have to arc in for the landing. We've got to land on 22 left. Twenty-two is down to the right. So what we are going to have to do is come around to the back side. Now normally this wouldn't happen. Obviously they have 30 left and 30 right shut down. For us to be able to clearly fly through it. Um, yeah. Need a little speed. Come back in. So, I don't know if you can see it, but we're going to come back around. Should hit 22 left, which be this one. Right one there. five. My gosh, this looks just like the the real thing. Ball fields, the school. back over the river. Got downtown St. Paul just ahead. Uh oh. No 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 no. No no no. No no no. Oh you biatch. Don't do this to me. Five hundred. Whoa, 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 whoa. Thank God. Oh, man. Maybe that's what was blowing it up before on approach. Okay, I got a little weird for a second. Sorry, folks. Everybody okay in the back? There's Minneapolis in the background. <laughs> All right. There's the runway over there. Get a good, decent camera angle here. Bring this in. Alright. Check my controls. Maverick's got the ball. Okay. Notch the flaps one more time. The wheels are down. Let's drop her down. 500. Here we go. Buckle 400. up, baby. Let's see how Dad does with the old 400. joystick. Gonna be a little, little to the right. Don't cross over. One hundred. Ooh, I'm a little off. Sixty, fifty, forty. Oh, uh, not my best. Twenty. Retard, try. Oh, landed inside the lines. <laughs> okay, air brakes on. 
Smack her down. Oh, we got there. A little to the right, missed center line. Hey, hey, not bad. First successful landing in a 320 and MS Flight Sim without being inside the cockpit. Not bad. I'll take it. It didn't crash. You know, for all you pros out there, yeah, laugh your butts off. No worries. I do this for fun anyway. But uh, there you go. A320. I did apply the, um, for those that uh, do like some different skins than what Sobo's got out there, um, check my Facebook page. Uh, there's some really nice skins available out there at the moment, free of charge, um, as well as for the 152 Cessna. And the 208, I believe it was. Uh, you can expect more to come. I'm still waiting for the SDK to become available. Uh, system developer kit. Uh, it really would be fun to functionally be able to do a few more things with the game. Uh, but time will, will tell here. Um, there are some things that don't work in game yet that are inoperable. Uh, switching certain comms, etc., certain features and functions. Just not quite ready yet. Um, I'm patient to give it, you know, four days into the release here, so. Okay, don't hit the one. No, 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 no. Don't hit the sign. Come on, let's turn the wheel. Minneapolis ground, Airbus November 320 Delta Lima request taxi to the gate. Yeah, well, I know, but I should... Airbus November 320 Delta Lima Taxi to Gate 9 or 1 via Taxiway Charlie Alpha Delta. Charlie Alpha Delta. Okay, Charlie Alpha Delta. Taxiing to Gate 9 or 1 using Taxiway Charlie Alpha Delta Airbus Charlie Zero Delta Lima. Charlie is to the left, Biatch. We're going to go left. Go left. Come on, let's turn this baby around. Okay. Charlie. Alpha. Delta to gate nine. Welcome to Minneapolis, folks. Thank you for flying Delta. This has been your pilot K squared. It's a beautiful day in Minneapolis. Sunny outside. <clears throat> Light cloud deck. Approximately 80, 81 degrees. Very humid. We appreciate your business. be arriving at gate 9. If you have a connecting flight, please contact your stewards. And thank you for flying. Delta. I'm going to have my own skin at some point here. So should we play chicken with the old uh, truck on the walkway? Didn't hear anybody screaming. Tires look good, didn't blow a tire. Landed a little funky to the right. Misjudged it slightly. But hey, I can't remember the last time I flew an A320. Okay, now we gotta go to Delta, right? We gotta go to Delta Online.
It's over here somewhere. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, right? <clears throat> there was none. Boys look busy standing around, picking their noses. This is interesting. Yeah, oh, I'm gonna turn over here. There's the guy. He's waving me in. Alright. Oh, too much. There we go. Follow the yellow line, Kev. Looking good. Let's see here. We'll sit with these guys. Whoops. Hmm. A little bit further, a little bit further. Don't hit the truck. Stop, 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 stop. Break, break, break. Oh, you bitch. Couple of feet over. <clears throat> All right. And there you have it. Welcome to Minneapolis. Anyway, thank you for flying. Look, I did make a mess. I'm pooping my pants on the seat. Thank goodness for that. Let's see what ground services can do for us. Minneapolis ground, Airbus November 320 Delta Lima, could you please send a ground power unit? Airbus November 320 Delta Lima, ground power unit is on the road. Rock on. Alrighty then, so, <clears throat> 7.30 to 8.06, 35 minutes. Daytime, one takeoff, one landing. And what you don't see in here is all this other time. Alright, we won't get grumpy. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Cheers. <laughs>